What's up, keepers, and welcome back to another episode of ARSGK. I'm Alberto, the goalkeeper coach and glove guru, and today we're going to look over the latest and greatest drop from Roish, who sent over these bad boys on the release just a few weeks ago, the Attract G3 Fusion Evolution Negative Cut Guardian, which comes with the blessing of the World Cup winning goalkeeper Hugo Loris and another 220 plus pro level goalkeepers all over the world. So let's dive right into this review. The Guardian model of this new Roisha track line comes equipped with a whole new G3 latex mixed with adhesive bits to offer better durability, grip, and wet weather performance. While the cut on the palm is the well-known Evolution cut that is a negative cut with a very deep notch above the thumb, which makes the gloves sit a lot nicer and closer to the natural hand position for better catching and handling of the ball. Now there seems to be an interesting preference from a lot of top brands to add this extra black and blue bits to their latex, which can be even found on the Old Sport Super Grip and some graphite level latexes, but I've always ended up preferring a solid latex since I felt like those bits didn't really help much for the durability side, and it is really hard to gauge how much grip they actually add to the overall performance. And my first session with the gloves was a special one. We were on a particularly wet and muddy field that created this yeah. nasty mud film across the palm of the gloves. And at first use on the natural mud field, the Guardians couldn't catch a cold. I found myself having to wipe off the mud to have a hope on holding the shot. And it was a point of real contention and annoyance for me. And most gloves that aren't specifically made for these conditions would have a hard time. But it does bring up a few questions about that adhesive weather bit in the palm that seemed to be completely negated by a dirty pitch. And after messaging and talking with my good friend Antoine at Keeper Spirit, I thought it would be best to try out the Guardians on a turf field, since no grass field in the middle of the German winter is not going to be a mud pit. And look, we can see the difference right away. Now that we don't have that mud destroying the grip on the palms, this G3 foam is delightfully tacky. And even though it was drizzling and the turf field was wet and damp, the grip did not falter even a oh, little bit, so showing a massive improvement between turf and grass fields, and even showing that this is definitely Roish's stickiest latex yet. And when it came to comfort and fit, the Guardians took the familiar cut of the Fit Control AX2, but shaved down some of the bulk yeah. on the backhand, added a longer neoprene area, and took out that extended palm, plus added a fuller, thicker wrist strap. While having a pretty serious latex roll across all of the fingertips, thumb, and outer palm areas to help get the most latex on and around the ball when dealing with those hard shots and scoop ups on the low bouncing balls. And bottom line, this fit is seriously nice. I went with a size 9, the fit is true to size and the gloves do feel like they are lightly squeezing your hand while reinforcing you with the weight and padding necessary to stop any hard shot. Even on the mud pitches where I couldn't really handle the ball, I was able to sneak some holds just by the type of this glove cut and that transferred over to the turf field insanely well, as with the return of the grip I was able to make some big holds and massive saves. And I really do love how the evolution cut fits the fingers. While they stay close, they aren't overdoing it and creating those awkward points on that finger crotch area that pinch the hand like some other fits end up doing when they roll the latex. And just on the fit and feel, I would definitely say these are my new favorite Roish goalkeeper gloves, and probably the best ones to hit the market ever. And really, there isn't much I would change about them, but maybe going with a full solid latex on the palm and making the wrist entry just a little bit longer. But ultimately, the Roisha Track line, and specifically these Guardian models, are easily some of the best gloves to hit the market right during the holidays. And I would recommend them to anyone right now just on performance and overall fit and comfort. So let's take a look at our gloves after about three to four weeks of use of primarily grass fields and a mix in of a few turf sessions. First, it's hard to actually point out the tears due to the colorway and I do think that's intentional and a pretty good idea. It's why I personally like black latex over white latex and it's also when the grass fields are mostly mud, latex doesn't really tear. But the story on the turf field was a bit different. I didn't do many sessions, about two sessions on this turf field, and if you can see, there are actually a good amount of tears around the fingers and palm area. That's from the few times that I landed and hit my palms on the turf, which shows that on a nastier area or on a stronger turf area, this softer latex will tear a little faster. And probably the only real negative feature on the glove is its price. If lower, these could begin to rival the Adidas Predator Pro. 
But right now at the price of 130 Great British Pounds or about 170 US dollars, the Royce Attract Guardian is best suited to be a great game glove, primarily for good grass fields or turf in any weather conditions, but on grass fields, get away from the mud. I would definitely recommend these to any negative cut glove lover and to any lover of Royce. These are definitely the gloves to beat right now. That's it for a review on the Royce Attract Guardian model. If you liked the video, please jump down, leave us a like and comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to help make more great content like this possible, please think about becoming a supporter for extra perks and more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next week.